chapter 4, verse 45 says, When they entered Galilee, the Galileans welcomed him because they had seen everything he did in Jerusalem during the festival, for they also had gone to the festival. This section here, verses 43 through 45, is a transition section. It's showing us that we're, we're going to contrast what faith looks like, the faith in the Samaritans, who they didn't see any of these miracles. As far as we know, they didn't see a single miracle. They didn't know about the miracles. They didn't know about Jesus' fame. He was a stranger who came to them and taught with authority, and they had an open heart to hear what he had to say, to see it, to see God in it, to believe and be saved. The Galileans were at the festival where they saw Jesus doing things, and, and he's becoming famous. And these Galileans are also in the same place where Jesus turned water into wine, and so now they're wanting to be entertained. They're wanting to have their demands met that Jesus would do some kind of miraculous sign that he would show up for them. And if he doesn't show up for them, then they're not going to believe who he is. And they want basically to control what Jesus does for them. They want to call the shots, which is not how Jesus works. Jesus says he needs to be Lord. He needs to call the shots. And so rather than learning with an open heart and trusting, they're placing expectations on things. I think we do this, you know, when we, we go to church and we say, well, the worship really wasn't very good for me today. Or, well, uh, I would really like it if Jesus would do this for me or that for me. We're, we are trying to place ourselves in the position of authority when we should be placing ourselves at the feet of Jesus and being submitted to him like we saw in Samaria. This little section of scripture is setting up the contrast for what that looks like. Um, and I think what we're going to see are when people are placing their demands on Jesus for what they expect and what they want to see, they're not going to end up seeing who he really is. They're going to be seeing who they want him to be. And that's not what we need. We don't want to design our own Savior. We want to have our Savior tell us who we are. We want to follow him with open and humble hearts. The point of this section is to draw contrast between Samaria and Galilee to show us what faith looks like.